Kamala, Kamala. Go. Somebody help me. I'm going to die. Somebody help me. Bobich, my seven-year-old nephew, was screaming relentlessly. In just a matter of seconds, our beautiful holiday turned into our worst nightmare. Last month in Sydney, on a bright sunny day, me, my parents, my sister and her husband, and their two boys, seven and twelve, were enjoying at the beach. The kids were swimming in the ocean with their father. My parents were sitting in the sand. My sister was taking some photos. And me? Ah, I was sleeping in the shade. <laughs> Everything was perfect until the moment Vogue started screaming from the water. As he ran towards us, tears started rolling down his cheeks. We took him to the side to learn what was happening. In just a couple of minutes, tiny dots started appearing on his hands and legs in the shape of a fish's tentacles. He was throwing his limbs ferociously in all directions. Tears were only getting faster and thicker, and his screaming pain was now piercing our ears. Then came the moment. Help me! I'm going to die! shouted Moksh. And I was shocked. A seven year old, cute little boy, knew what death was and that I'm going to die. An old man standing there said, It looks like a blue ball saying, Get ice and vinegar. We ran in all directions asking for ice and vinegar, but no one on the beach had. We called the medicist, we called the chemist, asking for the same, and she said, go to the medical center, I can't help you. It was 4.50 p.m. and the nearest medical center would close at 5. We made it just in time. Somebody call the doctor, please, shouted Moksh. And then came dashing a lady doctor to us. She saw Moksh's legs. Brave little boy, would you like to have a lollipop? Moksh nodded. She went back and brought a bucket full of hot water and dipped his legs into it. Fifteen minutes and poof. The pain was gone. The tears were dry. Thank you.